Dude, these are dope. What are these things? Yeah, what are you wearing a mask? Uh, are you blind? Oh, I mean, I might be slightly deaf. Wait, wait. Why are you wearing a mask? Well, apparently our focus group thinks we look way too similar, so they gave me this. We have a focus group? You know what, we're getting off topic. Can you please just explain this? Okay, whatever. I mean, they could have given you one that doesn't look as creepy, but... DJ, come on, man. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll explain Butterfly Knives to you. Just, you know, run that intro. What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warring Aviator and Super Hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja, and more specifically, welcome to Weapons Explained, the series where I explain some of your favorite weapons while mixing in some memes for, you know, your enjoyment, and, well, for my enjoyment. I do, of course, take meme suggestions, so, uh, send them my way. Sponsored by Arizona Sweet Tea. It's not actually sponsored by Arizona Sweet Tea, but if they're watching, Please, I drink way too much to not be sponsored. But do you like risking life and limb for the satisfying flex? But is Russian roulette a little too extreme? Maybe you want to impress a Yakuza, but can't quite afford a drift car. Or maybe you just want to join John Wick and Assassin's Creed and, uh, you know, lose one of your fingers. Either way, I got the weapon for you. The butterfly knife is the perfect tool for the job, and in this video, I'll be giving you a basic rundown on the history and use of this now iconic weapon. Now, I try to put a lot of effort in my videos for you guys, so if you are appreciative, hit me with that HBO special, and if you don't know what the HBO special is, don't worry, I got gotcha. you. Just hit me with the help a brother out special, so help brother out, hit the like, comment, subscribe, you know, do the YouTube things because it really does help my channel and it helps us get to my goal, which is 75,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, uh, let's do it. The butterfly knife, or more traditionally known as the balasong, is a folding pocket knife that finds its origins actually in the Philippines. And obviously the biggest feature that sets this apart from other folding knives is its two handles. Two handles. It's like more than one. These handles counter-rotate and completely encase the blade when closed. And if you didn't know, the latch that, you know, holds the two handles together is always gonna be facing the blade of the knife. Well, I mean, most of the times. Definitely check first before just assuming. Like I said before, assuming with these things is how you're gonna lose fingers. So, uh, don't do that. But the historical origins of the knife isn't super clear exactly. The stories that have been passed down show that the knife may have been first created in 800 AD. However, there is no documentation or archeological evidence to actually back this up. But the modern butterfly knife, basically what you see now that is mass produced, can be traced back to the early 1900s in the Philippines. Due to the moving aspects of the knife, there are many more parts of the knife than most other types of knives. I mean, it spins around, so obviously it's gonna have some unique parts. So let's go over a quick rundown. The bite handle closes on the sharp edge of the blade. The toil is the unsharpened portion under the blade. The kicker is the area that connects the blade to the hinges of the knife. The latch is obviously the thing that keeps the knife closed. In modern versions, this latch can actually be used out of magnets instead of like a physical latching system, which is uh, pretty cool. The pivot joint is the point at which the whole knife rotates around. The safe handle is the handle that closes on the non-edged side of the blade. And the switch is the unsharpened back of the blade. Now there are other parts that can be found in a butterfly knife and especially in the more fancy or high-tech butterfly knives, but I'm not showing you how to build it right now, so we're gonna continue. Important thing you should really know about this knife is the legality of this tool. This is definitely going to be one of those case-by-case -case basis, and it's not even just a country thing. Even the states inside the United States, certain states will allow it and certain states will not. So be careful because they are not legal everywhere. So if you're looking to get one, it's important to know the legal status of them wherever you live. For me, I live in Texas, and here, basically all blades are legal. It's the holy land, so I don't really have to worry about that. Which is why I'm able to own, practice, and even carry one on my day-to-day -day trip to Walmart if I want to. Not that I do for, you know, legal reasons. 
But since that is definitely not the case everywhere you go, make sure you check before getting your own. And if you wanted to get your own, don't worry, I gotcha. You can check out either the review video or just go down and click the link to the butterfly knife I have linked below. If you use that link, I actually get um, some help with the channel to actually send you money if you use the link. So uh, that, that's a great way to help out the channel if you're feeling so, uh, so kind. You could also just, you know, cop the merch if you wanted to help out, but uh, I didn't say that one. And if there's another weapon you want me to cover on this series, please, please, please let me know because I think it'd be pretty fun to go over. But until next time, thank you guys for watching because my name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out. Woo! Ow! <laughs> I'm too close to the wall to spin.